we've turned our main microphone over to the matron of honor, Amy Califoot. Good evening. Um, for anyone who may not know, I'm Amy, Jen's matron of honor. Uh, Jen, you look absolutely stunning this evening. <laughs> AJ, you're a lucky guy. Um, you've planned the most perfect day, and I'd like to thank your parents, families, and super fun bridal party um, for helping make this day truly the best day ever. Woo. Jen and I met, <laughs> ironically, in a wedding many years ago, and we instantly hit it off. Uh, we had a lot in common. We loved to dance, drink, and just have fun. When Jen asked me to stand by her side today, she gave me a card that read, Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. We both have families. Bryn, is she not just the cutest? Um, and as most of you with young children know, our lives are crazy busy. I barely have time to go to the bathroom by myself, let alone spend time with my friends, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but no matter how much time passes, I know I can always count on her and Jen. I can only hope you realize that I will always be here for you and AJ too, and Bryn. Um, I have never seen Jen smile, giggle, or talk about anyone like she does, Osh. Um, you make her so happy, which makes me very happy. You have truly found your soulmate, and I'm sure I speak for everyone in, in this room when I say I could not be any happier for the both of you. Um, so now, if everyone could raise your glass and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Oshie. I'm going to pass it on to Rye Dog. <laughs> uh, let's get a round of applause for Amy. That was a wonderful speech. Before I start this, I spilled my beer up here, so can you hand me some of those paper towels? <laughs> I'm a problem solver. <laughs> All right. I apologize. I didn't have this unfolded. I should have. <laughs> All right. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to start the speech off by saying hello to the crowd. <laughs> hello. <laughs> For those who don't know me, my name is Ryan. I'm one of Andrew's best friends, and I can grow one hell of a steak. <laughs> now, that's, that's enough about me. Let's get to the good stuff. The reason we're all here, that's to celebrate Jen and Oshie's big day. I'd like to take a minute to thank everyone, friends, family, <clears throat> and all those who helped make this special day happen. It's truly appreciated. <clears throat> As I was Googling how to give a good best man speech this morning, there are three key points that stood out to me. <laughs> Step one, start with a good opening line. I believe I nailed that like a split hog. <laughs> Step two, it's okay to drink, it's okay to have a few drinks prior to the speech, but don't ever do it. <laughs> Daddy's two for two. <laughs> and lastly, compliment the bride and make a few jokes about the groom. So let's get to that. First off, the ladies of the bridal party all look gorgeous today. Can we get a round of applause for all of them? Oh yeah, you got it. <laughs> Jen, you look absolutely stunning. And that dress is just fabulous. AJ, you look pretty not bad yourself. AJ is a man of many nicknames, <laughs> including AJ, Osh Oshi, Noodle, Skids, Tony, and the list goes on and on. I'd like to tell you all of his nicknames and how he managed to acquire each and every one, 
but Jen may be mad if I spent her entire wedding reception consisting of telling us telling old stories like so many of our get-togethers do. At one point in time, Osh, myself, and our friend Goose, also known as Kyle, also lived together. <clears throat> it was some of the best times of our lives. I had known Jen prior, <clears throat> or before Jen brought, or, or I'm sorry. <laughs> I had known Jen before Osh brought her over, but not very well. I believe it was a Saturday evening when she first stopped by and her and Osh were going out to dinner somewhere. Goose and I were playing a game of Scrabble and getting ready for a night of watching CNN like most of our Saturday nights were. Before they left, Jen cracked a few jokes about Osh with us and I could tell immediately she was going to fit right in. The following weekend, she made us a red velvet cake that was so good it could possibly heal Big Ben and save the Steelers' season. <laughs> so, Jim, when you get a chance, yeah. we need a red velvet cake sent to Big Ben. <laughs> After the cake, I told Osh, I said, hey, bud, you better marry that girl. <laughs> well, thankfully, he listened. I have known these two for quite some time, and I can honestly say they are great for you for each other. When I'm around them, I know that I am in the presence of true love. You two have an amazingly cute and funny daughter who puts more smiles on faces than you will ever know. She is lucky to have such great parents. I'm honored to be standing beside you today, bro. And, and I consider, consider myself, myself lucky to be friends, friends with, with both of you two. If everyone could raise their glass, here's the Big Ben and the Happy Couple. <laughs> <laughs>